All right, it's time now for Kara's Cures. Today, we're diving into the truth about hormones. Yes, specifically cutting-edge hormone replacement therapy that really could be helpful for women going through perimenopause and menopause. And here to tell us more is Dr. Anita Petrozelli, owner and medical director of Body Logic MD of Hartford. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Such a huge topic right now. I know I posted on my Facebook, do you have any questions? And, and it just already, just tons and tons of comments because for so long, women have been told um, that it could cause cancer. We shouldn't do hormone replacement therapy. Let's just say that the thinking on that has drastically changed, right? Absolutely. So there was the Women's Health Initiative, which was a study in the 2000s where showed there was an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, breast cancer, and blood clots for women. So in the 1990s, 90 million prescriptions were written annually for women come down to 2023, only 1.8% of women are using hormone replacement because of the fear of breast cancer hmm. and heart disease. And there's new research that addresses these concerns. New research that debunks the myth of these uh, actual, the, 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 these things are not gonna happen. I'm breast not gonna cancer. say they're well, not, gonna not gonna happen, happen that, right? but the risk is much lower than we first thought. So uh, for the heart disease risk, if you start hormones in the first 10 years of menopause, so under age 60, there is less risk of heart disease and less overall death from all causes. So it's a timing issue. So if you start hormones first 10 years of menopause, less than age 60, and this is not for people who are high risk of heart disease right. or heart disease or stroke, but less risk of heart disease. Mm -hmm. In terms of the breast cancer issue, the North American Menopause Society made a statement that it's a rare occurrence. Mm. It's a low risk, less than one per 1,000 per year wow. of use. So I want to back up the reason why is women are just, menopause is happening and sometimes they think they're dying, they think they have a mental health problem. There's, it, it, talk about some of the symptoms and why you believe we don't have to suffer. Wonderful, thanks for asking. So women are suffering from hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, pain with sex, decreased sex drive, decreased energy, memory, mood issues, and even unfavorable body composition like losing bone density, losing muscle mass. In 2020, there were 63 million women over the age of 50. That's 6,000 women going into menopause every day. The wow. average age of menopause is 52, and you can suffer symptoms before menopause and up to 15 years after. So there's such a small percentage of people that are being treated for mm. hormones when you can do a risk reduction, you can do a risk analysis of women and find out what their risk factors are and calculate risk of heart disease in risk of stroke and breast cancer individually and determine your personal risk. So the other thing is you say, um, so if you're, if you're, we're gonna take a deep dive just so you know in the Kara's Cures podcast, but uh, some things might be like an estradiol patch and some progesterone pills you take at night. That could be the way you start, right? Absolutely. And, and that could make, it could happen in perimenopause too, right? Because we're talking like 10 years before menopause, you might be gaining weight and having changes that you don't really realize because your estrogen just fell off a cliff. Correct, you can be having symptoms, you know, five, 10 years before menopause. So that's when it would be beneficial to see a physician, find out what your symptoms are, get hormone testing if needed, and you could add in a topical patch for estrogen and oral pill because there's some beneficial um, reasons to use a patch versus oral. And, okay. and this is not a one size fits all for each Correct. woman. It's a personalized approach where you're gonna take into account things like treatment goals, detailed medical and family history, calculate breast cancer risk, all of that. Absolutely. When a patient comes to me, I'm going to take a detailed medical history of their personal history. Do they have high blood pressure? Do they have high cholesterol? Do they have a family history of heart disease, breast cancer, blood clot? And I can calculate a breast cancer risk, a heart disease risk, and find mm. out what their symptoms are and what their goals are. So you are the medical director of Body Logic MD of Hartford in Glastonbury. Correct. And you're taking new patients. Yes? I am. Okay. Because the one thing I ask is people are like, I go to my doctor and I feel like he won't do, he or she won't do anything or they don't, they're saying no or they don't know anything about it. People are like, how do I get this help? What's the best way if you're thinking, I want to, they could see you or if, if they're not near you or something, what's the best way for women to find out if they should be getting this help? They can do some research online, see if people like OBGYNs have more training and are considered a menopause specialist or a hormone specialist, and 
you know, look for somebody with that type of yeah. training. Yeah, and it's becoming more common. Uh, I'll say one thing before we, we, we have to close for this episode, but we're, I'm going to answer your questions. You posted on Facebook. We're going to do it on the Kara's Cures podcast. But what about testosterone? You say that's the best kept secret of menopause? I really think so because for women, um, testosterone helps with mood, with drive, with focus, with energy, with hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, sex drive, favorable body composition, sleep. We need a lot more research for testosterone for women, but my patients would say that it is life-changing for them. Wow. Wow, that's incredible. We can't thank you enough for your time. I've learned a lot on this segment. Thank you so much. It's great to see you. Uh, for more information in order to get in touch with Dr. Anita Petrozelli. Did I get that right? That's correct. That's terrific. <laughs> Please visit DrAnitaMD.com. All right, and uh, the Kara's Cures podcast should be up now if you want to listen to the deeper dive. Yeah, it's a fascinating subject.